ریالٹی And then counsel to be steadfast. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa sirli amri wa lahal uqdatam min lisani qawli. I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving me this opportunity and the organizers for bringing me here to share my experiences. Before I introduce the workshop, I introduce myself. My name is Salatullah Khan. I am from the city of Bangalore. By profession, I am an engineer and engineer. an editor and publisher of an English monthly Islamic voice which I am publishing from past 27 years. And during this my 27 years of being in the media in Islamic voice, I have come across great scholars. In Bangalore, we have been associated with great personalities, international scholars. And being in the company for so many years with scholars, Allah has gifted me with this knowledge of education And this knowledge of education I have taken as a mission to share with humanity. And Islam is peace. And Islam is peace. And Islam is a way of life. So this is what my mission is. To spread peace to humanity. And that's what I have started this workshop called Discover Yourself. Discovering whom? Discovering oneself. Discovering about what? Question arises. discovering to know who i am the true self which allah has created us not what i think that who am i what is the purpose of life that is what the whole workshop deals with it and once you know who am i what is the purpose and that gives us the direction and a focus to our life so discover yourself i'll ask you the simple question who who am i what is my purpose These are the things that most people are confused with, never ever asked. And the basic fundamental question I ask you, what do you want in life? What do you want? And I know that everybody, and I have been across all over the world, traveling different places, and the most common question is that every individual, a small child, to the old man, a rich, to the poor man, To the American, African, Indian, any national, every human being ultimately says, I want peace. I want happiness. I want contentment. That's what everybody is looking for. This peace, happiness, contentment. And this is what the mission of this workshop is to give you peace. This workshop is not about just information or some knowledge. So just to impart, get in knowledge and information, you don't have to come to the workshop for three days sitting down in the chairs. You could read it in other Books are available, DVDs are available, great scholars are there who can talk on all the topic. This workshop does not give information, nor the knowledge, it is about transformation. It's not about just knowing something. There's a difference between knowing and having the ability. Knowing swimming, you can read a book and know how the swimming is, but you can't have the ability. Ability is you have to enter into swimming pool. And that's what Islam is not just knowing Islam or preaching Islam. Islam is living a way of life. Now when it comes to way of life, if I ask a father, you want your children to follow whose way of life? And the father says, my way. If you ask the mother, you want your child to follow whose way? She'll say, my way. We ask the children whose way? The children says, my way. So everyone wants to follow their own way. And the husband wants the wife to follow his way. And the wife wants the husband to follow her way. And if they don't follow their way, there's a breakup in the relationships. And each one is having a way of life. My way is the highway. And the society we live in wants you to follow their way. And the city and the country you live in wants you to follow their way. But where is the last way? There's nowhere. So everyone is imposing their ways and that's where the conflict is arising in the families, in the society, in everywhere. 
and our purpose is not to invite people to my way or your way and everyone's duty is to invite to Allah's way. Now what you want is success ultimately. Every human being in this world want to be successful and Allah says Rabbana atina fil dunya fil akhirat. Success in this dunya, success in the hereafter. And what is that success? He says, Sirati Mustaqim. We pray Salah. How many times we say pray Salah and we ask, show us the straight path. Show us the straight path. The path is there. Which is the path? Path of Allah. If you walk on that path of Allah, success, happiness, peace, contentment. So in this world, every human being has got a choice. Choice to choose what? Choose the way of life. God has given the freedom of choice to choose your own way of life and live your own way. And also there is a choice to choose Allah's way. That is the two of choice. Every, and every individual has to choose. That is the freedom of choice. And as you have, every human being wants success. Allah out of his mercy, Allah out of his favor has sent them off for prophets, messengers, so that can guide humanity to success. So every human being success is only dunya. Follow any way you want, you will have success. But our purpose is dunya and akhira, success you need, there is a way shown to you. And our job is to pay. And that way of life leads us to success. Now what is that way? Allah has given us in the Quran the message. So if you want success, Allah says, purify. One purifies himself. One, he indeed is successful, who purifies himself. He is failure, who corrupts himself. So the success, the path of success is shown in the Quran, the message in the Quran. And next thing, if everyone wants to change the condition of his life, his upbringing, society, his family, his financial situation, health, everything. If you want to change the external condition, Allah says in the Quran that you change inside. It's a shift. That is called transformation. Unless you don't shift your life, you're not bad. You have to shift. That shift is called transformation, paradigm shift. That is what your whole workshop is about, shifting our perception. Unless you don't change your perception from my way of life to Allah's way of life, there can never be anything. So our external actions, behavior, attitude is given by our perception. So we have a choice to choose to view life from my perspective. Or I have a choice to view from Allah's perspective. And seeing from Allah's perspective leads us to the life of success in dunya and akhirah. That is called akhirah perspective. Choosing my view of life, my way, is the justification way, is living with a dunya perspective. So human beings are got a choice. And that choice, how to shift that perspective from self to Allah's, that's what the whole the workshop is designed in. Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran, he, every human being is born in fitra, pure, natural state. A state of purity, innocence. Every human being. There's nothing to change, nothing to change, nothing to... There's only, Allah says, there's our veils in front of our eyes. These veils that are in front of our eyes blocks us, makes us blind to the truth, the reality. And this workshop helps you to discover those blind spots, those veils, those conditionings that have been imposed on you and me from the childhood by the parents, by the society, by the media, by everything we have been conditioned and programmed and that's what has created us into these blocks. These mental blocks have causing us the differences in people and then they become blind. And this workshop helps you to remove these mental blocks, free you from the opinion, judgments, interpretations and clears you whereby you cleaning up that, you get connected to the reality, connected to Allah that purifies you. And now we can say that internal and external, we have external life, internal life. External has an influence on the internal, internal has an influence on internal. Now the internal gives the external. If inner is pure, our external behavior attitude is pure. If inner is corrupted with all envy, jealousy, hatred, pride, arrogance, and that is reflected on our behavior attitude. And that's what Allah says, he indeed is successful who purifies himself and external action will be successful. But sometimes we feel there are misconceptions most of the people have that the moment we talk on heart purification, they think it is Sufism or something we are preaching. No, uh, Islam is teaches the holistic way. Human being is holistic, body, mind and spirit or soul. 
It addresses all the three, the mind, the body and the heart. We cannot dissect and separate out. Body and mind separate, heart separate. No, it addresses this thing. And Allah Ta'ala says, Khalb es Salim. Nafs e It doesn't mean that it addresses something. So this workshop helps you to purify your heart by looking inside all the corruptions that have been imposed by the external influences and makes you purify clears and brings you to the direction of Allah where we get connected to Allah. There is nothing to do. We don't talk. This workshop, I am not a scholar. I am not an alim. So we don't talk on the external aspect of Islam, Sharia, Fiqh. That is not my expertise. If anyone asks questions on that, I am not an expert. Please ask the scholars. My job here is to incite because here the purpose of this workshop is Allah Allah says that who is closest to Allah in the day of judgment is one who has the noblest of the character. Another one more place he says that we send the prophets to perfect our manners. So today the character, moral is disappearing among the youths, among the generations. Today divorce rates are increasing to 30 to 40 percent in the Muslim countries. The single parents. 20 to 25 percent of the school ch children are single parents. 20 30 percent are spinters. And it is totally the society is getting corrupted everywhere because of inner problems and arrogance. Pride, anger has become a way of life. Today, my work is to see that these character building, we work focus on the relationships. We work upon how many people in the workshop I have been doing, which have been not speaking, have been being divorced rates, and then they have come to do that. So this is our whole workshop focuses on relationship building, on character building, and helps you. And we take to the different modules and step by step helps you to clean yourself, forgive everything, and live a peaceful life. And they get an inner peace. When I am peace, I give my peace to all the family members. When I am peace with every member, then external peace is quiet. So this workshop is the peace giving. So if you are want to experience peace, live in peace. This is the workshop where you can experience live. And this workshop gives you the ability to live Islam as a way of life. It does not just tell you, it does not preach you. It gives you a way of life, where in that way of life you will be successful and peaceful. When you are peace here and you are happy here, inshallah, when you die, you will enter into peace. So this is the message of the workshop. This has nothing to do with any other programs. If any, no misunderstandings, so you can experience it. And I promise you, inshallah, if you attend Alda and you practice what I say, you will experience peace. You will be pure and clean. And when you connect to Allah, inshallah, you will have a peaceful life in this and the year after. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity, for this being here and joining this workshop. And let's begin this journey of discovering oneself. And once you discover yourself, let us change ourselves. Today's the more is to change oneself, not changing people. So let us change oneself, focus on oneself, and then we can change humanity. Thank you very much. Jazakallah khair. من قريب ومن بعيد نجمها الشامخ سطا وعنها العالم سمع واسمها فوق ارتفاع من قريب ومن بعيد الندوة العالمية